Good morning, Bridge Church family. I'm Lisa. It's great to gather and just share some time together over YouTube throughout the week. And I've been reflecting over the past few weeks about a marathon mindset. A beautiful woman of God, initially when I first began to follow Jesus, said to me these amazing words, Lisa, it is a marathon, not a sprint. I'm still learning, I'm still learning, but these words have been playing on my head as I start to think about, you know, what is ahead for us as the people of God and God's call upon our lives, which is huge and massive and he's called us and he's chosen us and that's awesome. But how do we live that out daily? How do we live that out daily without becoming burnt out? And how do we live that out daily in a healthy way? So I wanna look at these two differences between a sprint mentality and a marathon mindset. And one of the things I found was this great video on YouTube which compared the two, sprinting and running a marathon. I'm not good at either of them in the physical, so I'm just using them poetically. So if anyone is a runner, please would you teach me about this because I'm just not very good at running, <laughs> like short term or long term. But what I found was a sprinter has explosive strength. You've seen them, they run, they go, they, they've got their eyes on the goal, they're just like, it's, it's like a blip and then it's over, like how did they go that fast? And their race is done, okay? And then a marathon runner is endurance strength. Now, we want to live with endurance, you know, we don't just want to burst, go, and then it be the end. We want to live with a marathon mindset. Here's another little thing that I found really interesting. While both are challenging and require intense training, <laughs> a sprint focuses on the short term, a marathon focuses on on the long run. Now God has called us to live a life worthy of the calling um, of the gospel. That's huge, that's absolutely massive. And as children of God, we have opportunities daily to shine a bright light in the city. But how do we do that with a marathon mindset? You know, I think it's about having daily practices that help us to rest and reflect, help us to pause in his presence, which we're gonna be talking about a little bit later on this week. But also, you know, when we're running, we need to have our focus on Jesus. What no runner runs like looking backwards at what happens, you know, like the last lap. No runner runs like <laughs> looking all around because they just wouldn't go go forward. And we want to go forward this year. We want to go forward in the season in a healthy way. And I wonder what it looks like for us to live with that endurance. Not to not to just kind of like explode and then stop. As I know I'm guilty of. But what does it look like to have those daily, weekly, monthly, yearly habits built in so that we're continuing to rest and trust in him as we go and grow together. This is kind of like a little teaching to go, go explore how, how, how to live with a marathon mindset. And I'm still on that journey. This is not a teaching of how to live with a marathon mindset, but just something to think on this week. What is our mindset um, as we run this race together, side by side, following our amazing saviour? This scripture in Hebrew says, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith for the joy set before him. He endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Father God, would you gift us with endurance in this year and in the years ahead? Would you give us, God, a marathon mindset to look ahead, look at the long term, God? Would you help us to um, take stock of our lifestyles, God, and to live in a healthy way with our feet planted firmly in the truth of your word, God? Would you help us, God, to run beside one another? 
Help us to throw off the sin that so easily entangles us, God, so that we can run, set our feet to run at a great pace, God, receiving your grace each and every day. We thank you, Jesus, that you will continue to give us strength for all that is ahead. We look to you, Lord, this year for your leading, your guidance and your wisdom, and we ask you, God, to lead us in your faithful love. We pray in your precious and holy name, King Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Keep running. You're doing amazing.